Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session, the Thursday, 2nd of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the uh, the app, at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's see exactly what's going on here in terms of the markets. It certainly seems like China certainly is uh, exerting in it, uh, significant pressure on the downside. The German DAX now on the lost gap fill. Oil prices sliding, copper sliding as well. Uh, let's see if uh, the US dollar can uh, continue to hold on its hold to on onto its gains. Now, the latest reports at the moment, it certainly seems uh, that uh, China certainly is willing to retaliate. It seems like yesterday uh, there were some conciliatory remarks with a potential uh, resolution uh, being uh, worked on, and then all of a sudden we had Mr. Trump uh, and his uh, obviously his comrade saying that they are going to go ahead with the uh, potential uh, tariffs. And uh, Mr. Morning China certainly saying stating that he's ready to retaliate now whether that occurs or not we don't know so far we've been attempting or we have been expecting that for quite some time and it hasn't certainly come to pass and mr trump certainly is a boy who cried wolf so nobody really believes until he actually does it okay so uh, again it seems like it is going into effect and the markets certainly are swooning out at present we do have boe as well this morning uh, inflation numbers out of europe just certainly came in uh, stronger than expected as well so that certainly is causing a drag now on European indices okay so keep an eye out for that and it's all eyes on Mr BOE or Mr Kai the uh, the actual uh, obviously unreliable boyfriend uh, as he's named uh, to uh, lead the way uh, in terms of uh, Asian markets like I said certainly down quite significantly now the German DAX is actually getting hammered this morning uh, down a significant gap but you can see 12738 down almost uh, 300 points now uh, even more potentially if uh, if we don't continue if you don't stop sliding here so keep an eye on this potential key support zone here out at 12500 let's see if the german dax holds on to that now the daily chart you can see here significantly bearish okay moving on then in terms of the french cac okay french cac certainly under immense pressure as well uh, now coming into potential support below you've got gap fill at uh, 5430 and then horizontal support at 5435 so watch out there currently at 5447 in terms of the FTSE 100 it continues to slide it certainly hasn't stopped uh, again, we failed to hold support 7.620, we failed to hold support 7.580, 7.575, we're now potentially touching that pivot low support 7.565, let's see if that holds, if that fails to hold, then obviously we continue to slide again, down to 7.540 and potentially even 7.510, so bias certainly remains bearish there. Again, this is a key support zone, key key support zone for the indices here, let's see if the FTSE can hold, okay, so all eyes on the FTSE there on the 60 minute shot. Uh, in terms of the euro stocks last but not least again this has slid quite substantially down into uh, gap fill up seven for three four sixty eight now potentially testing support around three four sixty now okay so again let's see if that support can hold and then ultimately you got gap fill at three four fifty four quite a prolific sell-off there on european indices okay certainly uh, exceptionally exceptionally weak okay and let's see if the market can hold up okay so that's basically where we are in terms of the market it certainly seems that chinese rhetoric certainly has increased now they are potentially going to retaliate that's why these markets are going into a swoon uh, initially obviously the thought process was the fact that especially with apple earnings and apple making a new high that the market had potentially stabilized okay uh, so uh, wish you the best in terms of the rest of the trading day please be sure to visit trades signal signals and market updates from leading providers at google play and the apple app store goodbye now.